Hello friends, myself Professor Prashant Patel. Today we are going to discuss on the topic of Green's theorem in the chapter of vector integration of engineering mathematics. So by using Green's theorem, we can find out work done on any particle which moving on given curve. So equation of Green's theorem is single integration of u dx plus v dy is equal to double integration of dabba v upon dabba x minus dabba u upon dabba y dx dy. So this is the single integration u dx plus v dy. So we can see it in nothing but a fdr. It means that Green's theorem can be applied to find out the value of work done. So we need to take one numerical on the basis of Green's theorem. So the numerical is verify Green's theorem for the field f bar. This is the f bar over the region R enclosed by the y is equal to x square and line y is equal to x. Here region is given. So it is verify. Verify means we have to find out the value of LHS and RHS also and both will be same. Then we can say it will be verified. So here Green's theorem is single integration of u dx plus v dy is equal to double integration of dabba v upon dabba x minus dabba u upon dabba y dx dy. Now we need to find out u and v. Here single integration of u dx plus v dy is nothing but a integration of fdr. So fdr become x square here x square is given and i instead of i we can write down dx plus xy instead of j we can write down dy so compare these two terms so we can find out u so here by comparing this value u is x square and v is xy now let me have to consider lhs so lhs that we need to find out first lhs is single integration of u dx plus v dy now put the value of u and v here. So we get single integration of u is x square dx plus v is xy dy. Now we need to solve this integration. To solve this integration, we have to find out limit first and convert number of variable into one form. So find out region first. Region is given here. Enclosed by the region, y is equal to x square and line y is equal to x. We know very well y is equal to x square is the equation of parabola. And how to draw this parabola? Here degree of y is 1. So this parabola is symmetric to positive y axis. So parabola will be like this. This is the equation of y is equal to x square and y is equal to x is the line which passes through center. So we get we consider this point as O and this point is A and this is the area bounded the curve. We need to find out second step to find out point of intersection O and A. Point of intersection O and A. O, o is 0 0 because which pass which is the origin. Now coordinate of A is not given so we have to find out coordinate of A first. So we have two curve y is equal to x square and y is equal to x. So put the value of y is equal to x here. So it will be x is equal to x square. So 0 is equal to x square minus x. So take x common out. So it will be x minus 1. Therefore x is equal to 0. By using this equation we can say x is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this will be x is equal to 1. Now put the value of x is equal to 1 in any equation. Let me consider y is equal to x here. So put the value of x is equal to 1. So y will be 1 also. Hence we can say coordinate of a is 1 comma 1. So this will be 1 comma 1. Now we have to solve single integration. Single integration means what? We have to start from point O. We can go from this way or this way. Let me consider we have to start from this way means we have to solve LHS we have to solve LHS is equal to integration of OA plus 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कंसर्स दिस पॉइंट एज अ बी ए बी ओ ए बी ओ सो जस्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ओ टू ए देन अगेंस्ट कम बैक टू ओरिजिन देन वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ सिंगल इंटीग्रेशन की आर सो लेट वी कंसिडर दिस इंटीग्रेशन एज आई वन एंड दिस विल बी आई टू सो एल एच एस बिकम आई वन प्लस आई टू कंसिडर एज अक्वेशन ए सो सॉल्व आई वन फर्स्ट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ आई वन इज ओनली फॉर लाइन ओ टू ए दिस इज द ओ एंड दिस इज ए सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट लिमिट फर्स्ट लिमिट इज हियर दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ y axis and x axis so 4.0 x is equal to 0 and here 4.a x is 1 so we can consider limit is equal to x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 and the equation of this line is y is equal to x so put y is equal to x therefore dy is equal to dx in let me consider this equation as a 1 in equation 1 so equation 1 become i1 is equal to integration of x square dx plus xy dy so it become after putting the limit x is equal to 0 to 1 and the value of y is equal to x so instead of our instead of y we have to put x and dy we have to put dx so this will be x square dx plus x is here value of y is x and value of dy is dx so x square dx plus x square dx that is 2 x square dx and integration of this will be 2 into x cube upon 3 so finally we get the value of after putting the limit we get 2 by 3 is i1 now we need to find out i2 this observe this diagram to find out the value of i2 we have to consider this curve that is parabola so equation of parabola is given i2 is equal to integration of x square dx plus xy dy now to find out the value of i2 i2 is for the curve a b o now starting point is a and end point is o so i2 is equal to integration of x square dx plus xy dy now we need to find out limit first so this curve is starting from point a that is x is equal to 1 so limit become x is equal to 1 2 end point is 0 that is x is equal to 0 and equation of the curve is y is equal to x square so instead of y we have to put x square therefore dy differentiate this equation so dy is equal to 2x dx put everything in this equation so i2 become integration of x is equal to 1 to 0 x square dx is as it is plus x into y is x square into dy is 2x dx so this will be 1 to 0 x square dx plus 2 integration of 1 to 0 x raised to 4 dx now if you simplify this integrate this equation then we get x cube by 3 plus 2 into x raised to 5 upon 5 1 to 0 Now put the limit. So upper limit is zero, minus lower limit is one. That is one by three plus two by five. And if we simplify this equation, then we get the value is minus of eleven by fifteen is the value of I two. Now Green's theorem means LHS is I one plus I two here. So we need to find out LHS. So I one I one is two by three plus I two is minus eleven by fifteen. So if we simplify this, then we get the value is 30 minus 33 upon 45. So it will be minus 1 by 15. This is the value of LHS. Consider this equation as a I. Now we have to solve. We have to solve RHS. So RHS is here. RHS is the value of Double integration of dabba v upon dabba x minus dabba u upon dabba y dx dy. So here we have the value of u. U is equal to x square, and v is equal to x y, which given in numerical. So differentiate u with respect to y we required. So if we differentiate u with respect to y, so derivative is zero because x is constant with respect to y, and dabba v upon dabba x. 
with respect to x is derivative of x is 1 and y is constant so it became y only now put this value in equation of rhs so we get rhs is equal to double integration of dy y by dy x is y and dy u by dy x is y is 0 dx dy hence we get double integration of surface bounded curve y dx dy now we need to find out limits there are two integration double integration is here so when to solve the integration double integration with respect to any area bounded by the curve then we have to consider one strip we can consider vertical strip or horizontal strip so let me consider vertical strip so region which started from this point o to this point a so consider parallel limit so parallel line is x is equal to 0 here and second parallel line for strip is x is equal to 1 here so limit for x is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 and for y so for y means strip which touch to this curve an equation of this curve is y is equal to x square so this bottom point of strip which shows which given as a lower limit so lower limit become y is equal to x square to upper limit which connected which touches to this line y is equal to x so upper limit is y is equal to x it means we get the limit of y by using strip so put all this value in this equation then we get rhs become single integration of constant uh, the value of constant in x is given 0 to 1 so take x is equal to 0 to 1 is outside and here in case of limit of y x is given it means variables are given so take y is equal to x square here second limit second integration and this integration is y dy here and dx here now just integrate this equation start from right side so this will be integration of dx 0 to 1 and integration of y is y square y2 x square 2x so 1 by 2 is constant integration of 0 to 1 dx into upper limit is x so put the value of x in instead of y so it will be x square minus put x square instead of y that is x square of square so it will be 1 by 2 integration of 0 to 1 x square minus x raised to 4 dx now integrate this equation then we get 1 by 2 x cube by 3 minus x raised to 5 by 5 0 to 1 just put the limit here 1 by 2 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 so we get 1 by 2 into bracket 5 minus 3 that is 2 upon 15 2 2 get cancelled so lastly we get RHS is 1 by 15 so if we compare RHS LHS and RHS here so RHS is 1 by 15 and LHS is minus 1 by 15 so sign convention is not problem so negative means rotation will be opposite so here we get LHS is equal to RHS hence we can verify Green's theorem thank you so guys stay innovative stay hungry subscribe the channel press the bell icon i will get back to you very soon with new stuff till then bye bye